Good day everyone. So for today, ang gagawin naman natin is we will going to solve quadratic inequalities using the parabola method. Okay. So when we say parabola method, most probably we will going to deal with graphs, no? So alam naman natin that um yung parabola is the graph of a quadratic equation but this time we will going to use this to solve quadratic inequalities okay so let's start so for our first example okay so let's have a that is x squared min, uh, plus x minus 6 is greater than 0 okay so the first thing na kailangan natin gawin dito is again factor this out so pag pinactor out natin to magiging um x okay that will be plus 3 and x minus 2 that is greater than 0 okay so let's say for example uh ito ay equality no so hindi pa tayo gumagamit ng inequality equal so pag ginanap natin siya okay i-graph natin siya Yan. So, pag sinod natin yung value ng isang factor, which is, nangyari dito is, x is greater than negative 3. Kasi naman, x is greater than positive 2. So, pag pinlat natin yan, let's say, ito yung negative 3, ito yung positive 2. Okay? So, parang, ano na natin yung roots, no? Okay? So, ayan siya. Tapos, um, pag sinet natin yung value ng x sa 0, Okay, makukuha natin yung value ng y-intercept. So, by the way, ito, ayan, itong dalawa, ayan, tawag natin dyan is x-intercept. So, x-intercept, ang ibig sabihin niyan, a value of x when y is equals to 0. Okay, so kaya, kung papansin nyo, in-equate natin yan kasi, Ayan, para makuha natin yung value ng x. Pero yung uh, y-intercept naman, okay, so yung dito along the y-axis, ayan, y yan, ito yung x, di ba? Yun yung value ng y when x is 0. So kung gagawin natin 0 to, 0, 0, ang matitira na lang is negative 6. So andito yun. Let's see, nandito yung negative 6. Ayan, so pwede na natin i-graph. Okay. So, ang tanong ngayon, okay, tuwing kailan magiging greater than 0 ito, okay, so ito yung ano natin, ha, y-intercept, kailan magiging greater than 0, okay, so, pwede natin siyang i-check, let's say, for example, negative 3, kuha tayo dun sa ano niya, sumunod sa labas, no, let's say, negative 4, kung negative 4 yung value ng x natin, okay, so, magiging ano kaya siya, greater than ano kaya siya, 0. Check natin, kung negative 4 to, magiging negative 4 plus 3. And negative 4 minus 2, is that greater than 0? Check natin. So, this will become negative 1. Ito, negative 6, greater than 0. So, 6 is greater than, yes. So, ibig sabihin, okay, nagiging greater than to 0 siya kapag yung outside ng ano no yung dito okay less than dun sa negative 3 okay check naman natin dito no so check natin kung magiging greater than ba pag tinray natin yung mas malaking number let's say 3 no so 3 natin tayo ibang kulay yan so kung 3 say uh, 3 plus 3 that is 3 minus 2 is that greater than 0 so 6 times 1, is that greater than 0? Yes, 6 is greater than 0. So, ibig sabihin, kung 3 yung gagamitin natin, okay, so, magi greater than 0 siya. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? So, dito pa lang, kuha na natin yung sagot. Okay, manalaman na agad natin yung solution set. Ibig sabihin nito, ang solution set nito ay ano? That is x such that, okay, x is b, less than negative 3 
sama or x must be greater than 2. So, ayun lang, di ba? Doon siya magiging greater than 0. So basic lang yung ano natin, yung example for parabola method. Okay, so another example tayo. So ayun oh. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa another example, no. Kita niyo pag nandito naman ay si say negative 4 saka 3. So makikita niyo Ayan, no? So, naging greater than 0 yung parabola. Okay? Sige, proceed na tayo sa another example. Okay? So, for the next example, let's sub B. Okay? Let's sub um, negative x squared minus 3x plus 28 that is greater than 0. Okay. So, sa unang tingin, parang ang complicated kasi negative agad yung simula. No? So, parang mas maganda, mas madali siyang i-manipulate kung aalisin natin yung negative. So, para matanggal yung negative, i-multiply lang natin both sides by tama, negative 1. No? So, magiging that will become x squared negative times negative positive 3x negative times positive negative 28. And since minultiply natin sa negative, yung inequality symbol, so mag-i-interchange siya. Okay, so from greater than, magiging less than 0. Okay? So, ganun pa rin, same procedure, uh, factor out pa rin natin itong negative 28. Okay, so magiging x, okay, that is plus 7, yung isa x minus 4, okay, less than 0. Ayan. Okay. So, uh, dito, ang gawin natin ay gap na natin siya no? para mas ma-visualize natin. So, gap na natin. Ayan. So, pag kinuha natin yung value niyan, so x plus 7, that is less than 0. Okay. Saka tayo ng x is less than negative 7. So, pagpalagay na natin nandito yun. Ayan, negative 7. Okay, yung isa naman, x minus 4 less than 0. So, magiging x minus, ay, sorry, x less than 4. So, nandito siya 4. Okay, 4. Okay. And then, solve for y. Yung y-intercept, value of y when x is 0. So, kung 0, 0, negative 28. So, malamang nandito siya. No? Ayan. So, pag ginap natin siya, ay kulay. Ayan, yung graph niya. Oops. Ayan na. Ayan. So, kunwari. Kunwari maayos, no? Okay. So, ang tanong ngayon, kailan magiging less than zero, no? So, check ngayon natin, no? Ang gawin naman natin this time ay kunin naman natin yung nasa loob. Okay, so for example, hmm, negative 7, kuha tayo mga, or kung nasa loob yung kukunin natin, pwede rin 0, 0, di ba? As yung pang test natin. So yun na lang gamitin natin, no? 0, 0. Ngayon kapag nag less than 0 siya, ibig sabihin, nandito siya sa loob. Okay, so magiging, yung 0 to, magiging, 0 plus 7, 0 minus 4, is that less than 0? So, ito magiging 7, so magiging negative 4, okay, so negative 28 is less than 0. So, yung 0 legit yun, no? Ibig sabihin, kung less than 28 siya, or sorry, negative 28 is less than 0 siya, so nasa loob, nandito siya, okay? So, para daw maging less than 0 yung quadratic equation na to or quadratic inequality, so, dapat nandito sa loob. So, ano ngayon yung magiging ano natin? Final answer. So, magiging solution set natin dito ay ano? Okay. So, solution set natin dito will be x such that, okay, so, yung x must be, okay, greater than negative 7, may greater than negative 7, no? But less than positive 4. Okay. So, yan lang. Ganyan lang siya, ano, no? 
ganyan lang siya kasimple. Okay? So, kung meron kayong question or gustong i-clarify, so, pwede nyo akong i-PM na lang sa ating mga different platforms na ginagamit natin. Okay? So, that's it for our parabola method and we'll see each other on the next video.